Welcome to the Engineering Learning Management System by PPI, a Kaplan company. This learning management system is powered by Kaplan's learning and development team. The team at Kaplan has developed a platform that is designed and tested for learner success that PPI has paired with our same great study content. Happy studies. The study calendar is the main location to access your studies and stay on schedule. To view a module, click on the box in the calendar, then click the launch button next to the activity name to launch the activity. The study calendar front loads the work based on the time you have scheduled per week. So if you set this calendar to 15 hours per week, the calendar will serve you 15 hours of study, even if it means you reach the end of your studies well before your exam date. When you reach the end of your studies, there are options to use the QBank and flashcards to keep your memory fresh for exam day. If you need to adjust the calendar, you can do so in your settings menu. Note that changing the completion date does not update your calendar since the calendar will automatically front load the work. Instead, changing the number of hours to study per week will adjust the calendar. Here, if I adjust to 10 hours per week, I can see that adjustment reflected in my study calendar. The other way to adjust your study calendar is to refresh your schedule. It is recommended to do this early in the week, such as Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, so that the number of hours in the first week is spread out over the entire week. Refreshing your calendar is a great tool if you are behind schedule and want to catch up. The refresh button will also set any activities you already completed into the past. If you find the schedule is too fast paced, some other tips include setting fewer hours per week under settings, setting certain days as non-study days, and selecting certain weeks as time off. These can all be accessed in the study calendar settings. The activity library is a helpful tool to view items on your calendar and other study items. First, click into the activity library. Then you can filter by knowledge area, activity type, activity status, or a combination of the three. Say you are ready to attempt a practice exam, but you cannot quickly find it on the calendar. Instead, you can type practice exam into the search box and see all available practice exams, as well as status. If you complete an activity in the activity library and it is on your calendar, you will see the checkbox on both your calendar and the activity library. The flashcard interface is based on the concept of spaced repetition. Spaced repetition allows you to memorize key concepts by marking them either see again, easy, memorized, or difficult. When you see the flashcard, you will see three buttons, again, good, and know it. As you progress in your studies, there will also be a difficult button. As a general rule, if in doubt, click the again button. Clicking again brings up the card again in one minute. Difficult brings it up in five minutes. Good brings it up in 10 minutes. And know it means you have memorized the card and do not need to see it again for another week. This is based on the Anki method of space repetition, which is proven to help students master flashcard concepts efficiently. You can view up to 20 flashcards per day per topic. This is also to help with memorization so that there isn't an overwhelming amount of information to memorize each day. To access your webbook, you'll need to click the books button and then click the name of the webbook. Then you'll see the first chapter and all of the chapters in the top left navigation. The homework quizzes that you take throughout your studies are actually part of the QBank. So if you have taken some QBank quizzes, you will see them under correct and incorrect here. To take a QBank quiz, first select which knowledge areas you want to study. Then select if you want to view only unseen questions or if questions you've seen in the past are okay. Then select the number of questions in the quiz. Later in your studies, when you have already answered many QBank questions, you may wish to expand the pool of questions by selecting all under seen, unseen, etc. That will help you if you notice the pool getting low because you have already answered many questions. Here you can select the number of questions in the quiz, and here you can select quantitative versus non-quantitative. As you select these filters, the knowledge area updates in real time, so you can see how many questions are available using the filters you selected. 
Thank you and happy studies.